This is the Enduro Night Runner from Element RC, and it's one of the most scale looking trail trucks that we've ever reviewed that comes like this right out of the box. So today we're gonna check this thing out, do a few upgrades to it, and then we're gonna take it outside and drive it. Look at this thing, it is super cool looking and it's of course meant to be a recreation of a Toyota Tacoma. Now this truck isn't necessarily new, the Night Runner came out last year I believe in a gray color scheme. So this is just an updated color package to go along with that Night Runner series. Now there's a lot of cool features on this truck to make it pop and give it that more scale realistic look. One of the coolest features is it has an independent front suspension up here where the left and right side act and work independently and it has universal drive shafts with this double wishbone setup. The rear axle is a solid straight axle and inside the diffs they're locked front and rear. Now with the body it's primarily Lexan and it's two piece including the cab and the bed and then there's injected molded plastic accessories bolted onto it to give it more realism and some extra depth that the Lexan can't pull off. Now up front is a grill, it's plastic it's attached from the inside and so is this bumper here. It's an officially licensed to mellow front bumper that has a couple of D-ring points if you wanna add some shackles to it. And it, there's also LED spots with two LEDs in there that turn on and off with the truck. Now up the windshield, there's a big decal going over with some trim and a little bit of a tint, but it is still clear. And then there's hard plastic injected molded windshield wipers. On the side mirrors, they're also injected molded plastic and they have little reflective decals inside. More accessories are with the door handles for both doors on both sides. We also have these running boards or rock slides on the side that the body actually kind of fix into a little bit and holds the sides of the body in place. Now going out of the back, it's an officially licensed MagnaFlow exhaust. And then all the way in the back, underneath that tailgate is the, another DeMello officially licensed rear bumper with a tow hitch so you can add it optionally if you wanna pull a trailer. Also on the body are some pre-applied decals. They come this way out of the box. It's pretty minimal, but there's this full decal sheet that's included that you can, if you want to, start cutting out those decals and put them onto the body. Also included are more hard plastic accessories if you wanna put them onto the truck, including this snorkel. And there's also this front runner tent that you can put in the bed of this truck. And that would be your pop-up tent for your outdoor adventures. Now the chassis layout on this truck is pretty slick and it's really clean. Most of the items are up front, so you're gonna have your weight loaded up front also. There are aluminum bodied oil filled shocks, steel chassis rails, the Stealth X transmission that comes pre-configured with overdrive so your front tires are spinning faster than the rear and you can actually adjust that or remove it completely. Now for the speed controller, it's a Reedy SC480X. It's two and three S LiPo compatible and has a T-style connector and there's also an extra port to plug in more LEDs. One of the ports is occupied by the front LEDs in the front bumper. For the motor, it's a Reedy 16 turn and it's brushed to go with that brushed ESC. And for the steering servo, it's the Reedy 1523MG and it has a steel servo horn attached to it. Now the steering setup in this truck is super nice and Enduro is one of the only ones that are putting the steering link in this fashion where it's hidden. The steering servo sits up top. It has a mechanism that kind of travels to the front with a link connecting to each side. And unlike most RC trail trucks, there's no big steering bar going across the front axle, um, which can get hung up, damaged, but mainly it just doesn't look as realistic sitting there. Now, if we flip it over, you can see there's this massive skid plate running over the front, protecting that front drive shaft, which is a telescoping plastic drive shaft that has a metal male spline inside. But there's a lot of protection here for that drive shaft, and this plastic will help you just slide over the rocks a little bit better. In the back, these are steel links, so they're kind of heavy to get you some weight down low, which is really good. And then you can see our solid axle in the back. Now the tires are officially licensed General Grabber MTs and they're a 1.55 inch design so it's a little bit smaller than a 1.9 inch truck. Now that size and that wheel just helps make the tire look a little bit more proportional when the body is on there sitting inside the wheel well again to add to the more scale realistic look. Changing these tires and wheels if you wanted to would be pretty easy. You just take off this cap. There's a 7mm nut down there. You take that off, 
the whole tire pops off with the wheel and that exposes a 12 millimeter hex on the axle. Now I'd be careful using a larger 1.9 tire and wheel when using that Night Runner body on this truck because it's probably gonna rub on the Lexan quite a bit. So with that body, I'd keep it 1.55. This truck looks pretty snazzy as it is, but I think we're gonna add a few things to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of decals from the decal sheet on there. We're definitely gonna put this snorkel on the front and then we bought a few upgrades, including the diff cover for the rear axle. And then we've got these cool metal tow rings that we're gonna put on the front and rear bumper. With these tow hooks in the front bumper, they're just a little sticky. So I'm gonna enlarge the hole in the bumper just a tad with a body reamer or maybe a little drill bit, just so there's extra slack in there so these can drop freely under their own weight. These, by the way, are the King Kong Tow Shackle in orange from RC Four Wheel Drive. All right, that didn't take long at all. The decals, the snorkel, and even the diff cover in the back go on really easily. There's only four screws for that diff cover and a two millimeter hex is needed and a ball end hex is definitely recommended. Now over here on the snorkel side, I added a little bit of trim tape. So that's kind of in the door gaps to give it a little bit of like depth. Um, and I put it on the hood and I did it a little bit on the back where the tailgate would be. I think it's really cool. I did not do it on this side though. So you can see that's what it looked like before with no trim tape and then the trim tape on this side. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let us know in the comments down below. But this thing is just about ready to go, but we're not going out alone. Now this is the Element Enduro Ecto. And a lot of people ask about the differences between these trucks. Now both of these use a long wheelbase, which is the 12.8 inch. Now the big differences between these two trucks is that the Night Runner has an independent front suspension, the Ecto has a solid axle, and there's also a solid axle in the back on both of these trucks. But the Ecto uses a rear trailing arm setup. You can see them back there. And then it's also supported by a sway bar. So the Ecto is a bit more oriented towards performance, where the Night Runner is definitely more of a looker and meant to just have that real tight scale appeal to it. So we're gonna take both of these trucks out there. So let's do it. Ecto came up that pretty easy. Okay, made it. I'm surprised by that. So far, the truck has done really well. I don't think the Ecto has had many advantages. Rocks have been catching on the bottom of the IFS skid plate a little bit, but it hasn't been too bad.
days, dude. Okay, so they're pretty dang even. Did you get that? The dang trucks have a pretty tight turning radius, regardless of the tire size. They both have the overdrive engaged. It was about 105 degrees out there, but the trucks did really good. And the Night Runner performed really well on those rocks, way better than I thought they would. The smaller tire, tire size leads to a little bit less ground clearance or clearance for the axle, and then that IFS skid plate does get hung up on the rocks quite a bit, as well as the front and the rear bumpers. But you just have to be a little bit more careful when picking your lines, but it was more challenging to drive the Night Runner than the Ecto. These big tires kind of feel like cheating a little bit after driving this truck. Something we didn't anticipate is that smaller tire size leads to a little bit smoother throttle control on the low end, but then less top speed on the top end versus the Ecto, because I believe they have the same gearing, just different tire size. In the end, this thing did awesome. I freaking love it, and this blue color looks so good. Our trim tape never came off on the rocks. It never had any issues with anything. It was excellent. The Ecto was pretty good too, but I really like this truck. Guys, go check out the Night Runner and the Ecto by following our links down below. And if you want more RC, check out these videos.